Hi, I'm Amy Culp. I'm the sports dietitian at the University of Texas, and uh, my job is to feel the Longhorns. And one of the things that I talk to Longhorns all the time about is making healthy snacks. And really, I, I really feel like snacks is one of the are one of those things that really easy for you to put together, but maybe sometimes get bored with the same things over and over. So I tasked my uh, culinary nutrition intern, Jeff Saracini, with coming up with some new and interesting and fun snack ideas that you guys could make in your dorm or in your apartment uh, by yourself with very few ingredients and they take very little time to cook and they're delicious. The other important thing is that they meet all the criteria for what I like to see in snacks for an athlete. It's because snacks are such an important part of your fueling plan. They need to have some carbohydrate in them that help you to fuel your workout. You know, carbohydrates are fuel for that working muscle. They need to have some protein that are gonna help to help you to feel full and satisfied a little bit longer, but also help to recover after workouts and build and repair that muscle tissue. And also, I like to see some source of color, a fruit or a vegetable, to give you some antioxidants and to help you to heal and recover, decrease inflammation, boost your immunity and, and overall health. Um, so one of the really cool recipes that Jeff came up with is something called banana ice cream. So tell me about banana ice cream. So it's basically just a simple frozen banana that you can do right at home because everyone always has those bananas that start getting brown and mm -hmm. it's like, oh, I don't really want to eat those. But don't you want to throw them away, so what do we do with them, right? Yeah. You just easily cut them up into little discs, throw them in the freezer, come back in a few hours or the next day. Ready to go. And lots of things you can probably do with those frozen bananas too, right? Make um, smoothies, it would be a great base for smoothies as well. Um, you can make muffins or, or bread, but this is something I'd never heard of before, so I'm excited about seeing this, all right? So we take our frozen banana, mm -hmm. and then what goes in? What else goes in? And the frozen banana, does that add some of the, uh, the, the, the texture to it as well? The banana adds a nice creaminess mm -hmm. when it's also combined with the peanut butter, okay. but it also just blends up almost exactly, completely right. Like, um, ice cream. Tastes like ice cream. I'm excited to try it. So, um, this is something you have a little bit of a sweet tooth, or again, how to get some fruit in but make it taste a little bit different, right? So, um, all right, so we put the banana in, and this is your source of carbohydrate for this snack. So, this is just two frozen bananas, just okay. sliced into about a half inch dish. Okay. Just right in there. And just one tablespoon of peanut butter. Okay. You could use almond butter for this as well, right? Okay, or, or any nut. kind of nut butter yeah. for that matter. And that's gonna add a little bit of protein and also a little bit of healthy fat, which also helps to decrease inflammation in the body as well, which is really important for athletes. Blended slowly a few times, and then we have our end result. Let's uh, see what that looks like. So we know what to expect when we're putting it in our bowl. So there it is, all pureed. Um, really does look like ice cream. ice cream. Very cool, Jeff. I like that. So do you think we could use different fruits for this? Like if you used berries or something, would it not have that same texture? Would it maybe be more slushy? It might be a little bit more slushy like if you had berries because they have more water content mm -hmm. in them. Okay, that's the nice thing about the banana. It has, it has a thicker, more starchy almost. Yes. The content than the berry um, But you could do something similar like that, making like a watermelon slush or a berry slush, but it would just, as I said, be a much more slushy than having nice cream texture. So there you go peanut butter ice cream.